All right, so here we are in Independence, Missouri, and it uh, basically we're on the Temple Lot, what's known as a Temple Lot, and we have this is actually a pretty significant area because we have several different uh, groups of the Mormon faith all represented here in this uh, very kind of compact local area. Behind us here, we have the, what's known as the Church of Christ Restored 1830. It's, it's referred to as a Temple Lot. Just off to the behind this building on the right is where Joseph Smith, in, in, on August 3rd of 1831, dedicated the spot. He believed that the, the Lord had commanded him to build a temple. And uh, so it would, would have been back in that area there. Now just to, um, over here uh, behind this tree, you see the spire, a large um, reorganized, used to be uh, the reorganized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, today commonly COC, Community of Christ. Um, that's their temple there. And uh, Joseph Smith said this area was Zion and uh, anticipated the Lord's coming. Uh, back here, uh, behind back behind we have a, the uh, Community of Christ Stone Church, and um, off in the distance we can't see it from here, but uh, just a few hundred feet away from us is the LDS Latter Day Saints Visitor Center. They're um, also a pretty big group in this area as well. And then was there another group over oh, here? Yes. yes. And thanks for reminding me, Aaron. Um, just down this street here, um, just a sh very short distance on the left is the remnant, is a remnant group. So we literally have actually uh, five groups here. Initially I thought four, but we have five groups here because in the area we also have the restorationist group, um, which there's a church just down this road here, um, maybe a quarter of a mile. And there's uh, several of those churches in the area as well. And that sounds like not just a fifth group, but that it sounds like a, a multiplicity that would right. fall under the family of restorationist right, right. groups that split off from the RLDS right. group. We just got to talk with some lovely ladies that uh, just hang hang out at the, the, the temple a lot. Very, very nice Gr young ladies. They get together for friendship. They've grown up together, know each other for all their lives, and they were just here. They were kind enough to Oops. talk with us and answer our questions, and um, they are all part of the restoration group. Sweet. Thanks. So we've come around here and they've got this here. So this is supposed to be the spot right here for the... Well, um, this spot geographically is this land here. It's actually just up on the flat spot. Um, this area, Joseph Smith had said that the Lord commanded him to build a temple. And Joseph Smith um, dedicated this land for that temple August 3rd, 1831. They say C marker at the top of the steps. Right, so up here. Now inside the building, they actually have a stone that was found here that is um, key to that uh, temple location, one of the corners. And there's actually another stone here. This was the, where it was marked. This would be the northeast corner of the temple. So the temple was going to be basically out there. Okay? And it's going to be a rectangle. And inside this building, inside this building is actually a picture on the wall where this church took their congregation and they lined up people along the outside boundaries of where the temple was to be. And the pictures inside, um, I've actually seen it and taken pictures of it. And it was a good size, good size temple. It was supposed to be. Hmm. At least that's what Joseph had envisioned. Temple Lot, the Mormon prophet Joseph Smith and Mormon leaders dedicated this area for the construction of a temple August 3rd, 1831. A temple complex was envisioned as the center of a city to be called Zion. This symbol here on this building um, is something that's fairly common we see with the reorganized Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. 
Um, that same emblem is actually on a church building in Far West, uh, called Far West, Kings, Kingston, Missouri, where the saints were ran out of in independence and allowed to live up there uh, by Governor Boggs, I think probably around 1840-ish. Uh, but we see that that emblem was theirs for some time, representing their church, a reorganized group. So it looks like this is a symbol of unity, but ironically the fountain is dry. <laughs>